Carmen is an extraordinary woman. Um, she's so multifaceted, uh, many layers to her, and and yet surprisingly simple at heart. Um, she's a woman who knows her own mind. She's very strong. She's very self-aware. Um, she has a lot of confidence. She's the type of person who can walk into a room and command the attention of anybody and everybody uh, without even trying. It's not, you know, a forceful thing. It's just a natural energy that she exudes that makes people want to be around her. When she wants something, she knows what she wants. She goes after it, and if somebody gets in her way, too bad for them. Um, but again, not in a negative, sort of forceful way. It's just who she is. She, she goes after what she wants, and she lives life on her own terms. She is a gypsy, yes. Carmen is very comfortable in her own skin. Um, she's, there's no artifice about her at all. She, uh, she's very honest um, about what she wants. She's very, she gives very freely of herself when she falls in love with somebody. There is definitely an attractin, attraction to Don Jose. She is in jail and she sort of charms her way into his heart so that he will help her to escape. But I do think she's very intrigued by, by this man who has, of course, fallen instantly head over heels crazy about her. Um, and she has a very uh, visceral response to that. She's, she's attracted to him and her love for him is very different from, from his. Um, she, she's aware that it's not a love that will last forever. She makes no promises to him uh, on that note. Freedom is pretty much the central focus uh, of Carmen's existence. Um, and it's interesting to think that he provides her the freedom when he, you know, helps her to escape from jail. But ultimately, he, he wants to hold on to her. He wants to almost if not on purpose, but to smother her um, and to hold on to this love that he thinks is, is supposed to be for the rest of their lives and which threatens that very freedom that she holds so dear, um, which is, of course, the, the end of their, their affair. Escamillo is sort of an escape from this, uh, this very passionate but dangerous relationship that she's had with Don Jose. Um, where she's been sort of forced to go up to the edge of, of vulnerability for the first time, maybe. And with Escamillo, uh, you know, he's this uh, charismatic, young, um, popular toreador, sort of a celebrity figure. And she's very attracted to that. You know, she's a, a bit of a narcissist herself, and they, they are a very good match, she and Escamillo. He, he is not the type of man that will uh, that will try to hold on to her and try to, to, to smother her in the way that Don Jose is, has tried to do. Ms. Camillo offers her uh, a different lifestyle, surely, than what she's been accustomed to, um, which is very appealing. I mean, you know, she's, she's uh, used to living this life of, of danger and all of a sudden here's this uh, successful uh, giant of a man offering her a different life. And uh, it's definitely something that she, she is very attracted to. When somebody thinks of the opera Carmen, immediately uh, at the forefront is the Don Jose Carmen story, is the love affair, the, the passion, the intrigue, and the jealousy. Um, but really at the core of it is uh, fate and what fate has uh, set out for you. And there's no fighting it. So whatever will be, will be. And Carmen, the character, is a very firm believer in what's written in the cards and that your life is, is predetermined to be a certain way. And if you fight against that, Don Jose fights very to the death, literally, against that. Carmen is one of the most famous pieces in the repertoire for, for many reasons. I mean, the music is just glorious and everybody uh, everybody has heard one piece from the opera, whether they knew what it was from or not. At its core, it's a very human story um, about 
love and and jealousy and all of these human emotions that are very real. This will be my first uh, first crack at the entire role of Carmen, and it certainly is. Uh, I I feel a mix of giddiness and excitement with a little bit of terrified thrown in there. It's very daunting because it is a role and a piece that everybody knows or at least peripherally knows. Um, and so there's there are a lot of ideas about what who Carmen is and what the story's about and um, you know there's such a, a legacy of amazing singers that have performed it and so there's a lot uh, to think about for me going into this but uh, it's just such a phenomenal role and the beauty about of, of being in the theater is that no two artists are the same and every take is going to be different. I'm very much looking forward to being back in Santa Fe. Um, I, it's just such a beautiful place. The first time I, I spent any time there was a, a couple of years ago and I was very surprised that I fell in love with the landscape and it's just so, so different from anywhere else I'd ever been. Uh, and the last time I was there, I was a spectator in the audience. I was watching my husband perform up on that stage. And to, to get the opportunity to perform such a piece in, in this beautiful theater is just going to be amazing. So I'm, I'm really thankful for that.